Hey everyone, what I have here is a trekking pool tent that only weighs two pounds. This is the Nightcat Ultralight One Person Tent. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up and I'm gonna give you my review after taking a look at the quality of the tent. Just wanted to make one quick disclaimer. This was sent to me free of charge by Nightcat for review, but all the opinions expressed in this video are my own and they did not tell me to say anything. Just wanted to get that out the way. All right, let's start by breaking down what the tent actually comes with. So the first thing you'll notice is the stuff sack, which I really like an oversized stuff sack. You got plenty of room in case you don't want to get it all in there right every time. And then the first thing out the bag is going to be the steak bag, which I think also has a guy line in it, or the guy lines. So it comes with these nice aluminum style steaks, the little yellow pole cords on them already, which is nice so you can get them out a lot easier. And then comes with a few tent patches, so you can patch up the tent if you get a hole. And the last thing in the bag is three guy lines with the little glow in the dark guy line clips to attach it. That's nice that they give you those. All right. Moving on into the bag itself, you got a small little user manual. Who needs that thing? And then pull out the main event. You have a little tie cord, you can untie that. And then you have the actual tent, which is already attached, the body and the mesh. This is a two, per, um, a two, a double wall tent. And then you roll it out and let me show you how to set this up. As I get the tent set up, let me go over some stats. Starting with the price. At the time of filming this, it's on Amazon for $159. It weighs a little over two pounds. And this tent is a double wall tent, which should help with condensation. When it comes to the dimensions, it's two feet, eight inches wide seven feet six inches long and has a peak height of four foot one inch the rain fly and bathtub floor are both made out of a silicone coated 20d nylon all the seams are sealed and taped setting up this tent is super easy you stake out the four corners of the tent body then you go around connecting and tightening the rain fly to the stakes then you slide the pole into the pocket at the top of the tent extend out the guy lines and stake it down there's one final point at the back of the tent make sure you get that secured and staked down to get into the tent, you gotta detach this little hook right here. And it's it's a little bit of a pain and it doesn't seem like it's the most sturdy and it's not gonna last longest, but it does its job. This whole ridge line system is a little weird to me, but I mean, it does work. And then to get further in, you just need to get these Velcro. There's one right here at the bottom. Start to zip up. And then there's another Velcro right there. And then you can go ahead and roll up the door. And there is this little loop securement thing on it, so you can secure the door. Oh, maybe, you can, there you go. And then for the inner door, it's this L shape. And that, I would have preferred maybe a T, that way you could open this up and had both doors open and had a bunch of airflow. But I mean, this is fine. So you just open this up like so. This one rolls up too, and then this is a double walled tent, so the mesh layer is separated from the rest of the body. You see right here, you got plenty of airflow that can get through here, so and no moisture is gonna collect onto you. Hopefully it'll run down and not go through the mesh. That's the idea of a double wall tent. Coming in, you got a pretty large vestibule, and you can put like your bag out here or your shoes. And then for the inside, it's fairly large. I mean, it's got quite a bit of space for your bag. I mean, you could put your bag in that little corner over there. But, I mean, you wouldn't want to fit two people in here. It's definitely a one-person tent. And it's even a little small for me. I'm six foot two. I'll go ahead and show you what I look like inside of there. So, you see, I fit fine. I mean, I can sit up. It's a little tight either for your feet or your head because of the pyramid shape of the tent. You really don't have the full floor length to lay down. You kind of lose a lot unless you're a super, super flat guy, then maybe you can fit in here. But see, you have plenty of room over here, but there's always gonna be a little bit of problem if you're, I'd say if you're below six foot, this is gonna be a perfect size. But when you're above six foot, it's gonna be a little bit worse. Here, let me show you from the inside. 
So you see my feet, I mean, I am wearing shoes, so they're a little bit bigger, but my feet will hit the mesh and will cause the moisture or whatever to come down. So that is a bit of a flaw if you're a little bit tall. And then I can scoot back a little bit, but then it's just getting my head, then, then I'm just gonna get buried in the mesh. So that doesn't work either. Over here though, you see there is plenty of room. You could put, you know, your backpack right here or some, whatever you need to keep dry out of the rain if you're not using, if you're not using your vestibule for that. But see, this is where I would have liked the T-door to open up here and then you could have had more room to get out and you wouldn't have to <clears throat> squeeze out like this. Here's the tent from the outside with the doors open. So my overall review of the tent is I really do like it. I mean, as long as you're under six foot, I don't think there's any cons when it comes to the size. The only other cons I have are this weird, um, the weird guideline system it has. I would have preferred just two separate guidelines. There's probably a reason and a method that I could get to fix it better, but for now that is a con for me. And then the only other con, which isn't really a deal breaker, but it is something I would have liked is a T-shaped door. So I would have got, you know, you would have had more room to get it in and out. But other than that, I mean, if you are below six foot, it is definitely something I would recommend as far as size. The price, I mean, 170, I think is what I said, is a fine price for this type of tent. And two pounds, you really can't beat the weight. You're not gonna get a tent much lighter than this, especially for that price. And when it comes to the trucking pool style tents, this one is one of the easier ones I've set up. Alrighty, that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and subscribe. If you're interested in this tent, I'll go ahead and leave links down below to Nightcat's website and Amazon page so you can check them out. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.